I'm Dominique Mariso, and my play is called Follow Me to Nellie's. And it is based in part, um, loosely based on my aunt Nellie Jackson, who was a madam in Natchez, Mississippi for over 50 years. During her time uh, as a madam during the civil rights movement, she used to use the brothel to create bail funds for the activists in the movement, and she was really supportive to the whole town of Natchez. And so I decided to steal that part of her legacy and uh, run away with it. The civil rights movement didn't begin with Dr. King. It didn't begin in the 60s. There were people doing the things like what Ossie Brown does, you know, uh, registering people to vote, or, you know, what Nellie did, you know, hiding people. You know, there were, I'm sure, hundreds of unsung men and women, you know, that will never be heard of. Um, but still had a vital part uh, to play in the, in the civil rights movement. My story is looking at that aspect of her life during the civil rights movement um, and during the early voting rights efforts that were happening and how uh, one man decides to come and stay at the brothel and how that creates change for everyone uh, in Natchez and particularly everyone at Nellie Jackson. So Dominique, you know, uh, her being a playwright and a poet is very suiting because she's definitely a storyteller. You know, so even prior to this, to the to the piece, you know, she always shares stories about her family, or you know, stories that her family has shared with her throughout the whole thing. You know, it was a very uh, collaborative uh, effort in, in bringing these characters to life. Well, Mr. Tom, I sure appreciate you coming around to give us that news. We keep all the rules we get around here. Except for the ones we get permission to break, that is. So you don't have to worry about that over here. Like a numerous plays that we do here that are brand new plays, um, our aim is not only to educate, entertain our audiences, but also to challenge them to think about how they view the world. I was a little um, concerned often about our attitudes toward voting and, and, and what we feel like goes into it and how much of us have an apathetic attitude toward it. And so I wanted to look at what happens when we revisit that time when this was real, trying to get the right to vote. And I, I wanted to deal with that relationship because I, I don't want that, that right to be taken for granted. And we're doing a partnership with the League of Women Voters where here at the theater, people can register to vote at intermission, register to vote before the show starts. So our hope is that by the end of this run, quite a few more people will be registered to vote than when we started this project. Your wife, my young friend, Mr. Austin Brown here. What they say about the meanest, most smartest student at DC you've ever seen. Well, what they say about the meanest, most smartest student at DC you've ever seen. One of the most important things for me about telling this story is uh, looking at someone like my aunt who may have had a questionable business, how someone like that can still contribute something really amazing to our history and to the trajectory of us as in you know, our social landscape. We have these, these heroes and in history, most of what we have to view them by is their successes there, you know, how they were in the public, standing at a podium confident. But you know, a, a lot of us don't realize that these, these were not necessarily extraordinary men, but ordinary men doing extraordinary things. Everybody has the power to do something amazing and great, and that's, that's what I want to leave people with. So come see Follow Me to Nellie's at Premier Stages. We open on July 14th. Mm -hmm.